diversity of organisms and the measurement of diversity have uh, long interested ecologists and natural resources managers. So diversity is a variety uh, and at its simplest level it involves count counting or listing species. So in this lecture I will not go in into very details about uh, diversity uh, because Dr. Annie will cover this topic later. However, um, I still want to cover it a little bit because uh, somehow I cannot run away about uh, talking about diversity uh, when you talk about uh, plant ecology. So I just give you some uh, kind of like brief uh, discussion about uh, plant uh, diversity. Okay. So uh, biological communities uh, vary in the number of uh, species they contain, which is the richness and a relative abundance of these species, or what we call it as evenness. Uh, species richness as a measure on its own does not take into account the number of individuals of each species present. It gives uh, an equal weight uh, to those species with few individuals as it does to a uh, species with uh, many individuals. So evenness is a measure of the relative abundance of, diff of the different species making up uh, the richness of an area. Okay. Cool. So consider the following examples of hypothetical community of three species. So both samples have the same richness. Okay. Both samples have the same richness. Uh, and the same, uh, which means they only have three species, and uh, the same number of individuals. Both have 446. However, the first sample, uh, the first sample here has more evenness uh, than uh, th than the second. Okay, so the number of individuals is more evenly distributed between the three species. So, but however, in the, in the second samples, most of the indiv individuals are acacia and uh, fewer shoria or hopia trees. So in this example, for this, for fir the first sample will be considered more diverse. So a diversity index is a quantitative measure that reflects the number of different species and how evenly the individuals are distributed among uh, those species. So typically the value of a diversity index uh, increases when the number of types increases and the evenness increases. So for example, uh, communities with a large uh, number of species that are evenly distributed. Uh, uh, so again, uh, so, uh, so communities with a large number of species that are evenly distributed are the most diverse. And communities with a few species that are dominated by one species are the least diverse. So here, we are going to examine uh, several common measures of species uh, diversity. So Simpson in 1949 developed an index of diversity which calls as Simpson Diversity Index. Uh, this index is used to calculate a measure of diversity taking into account the number of something as well as its abundance. Yeah, uh, so they count the number of individuals and also its abundance. The index is most often used for ecological studies that measure species diversity. But the same analysis can also be applied to other principles uh, such as the diversity of opinion, uh, diversity of an idea, the diversity of geographical space, etc. and etc. So not uh, really uh, concentrated on uh, plant or animal. So uh, re researchers frequently need to know if the range of data they produce is showing a true level of variety or if it just appears to do so on paper. So this is especially the case when uh, researchers are dealing with a very large quantities of data and the level of diversity within the data is not easy to decipher from just reading a table of results uh, like what we uh, like I've shown uh, before. So therefore, Simpson Diversity Index uh, measures the probability that 
two randomly selected individuals from a sample will be the same. So the formula for calculating the uh, calculating the value of uh, this index uh, is shown here, where n i is the number of individuals in species i, and n is capital N here is the total number of species uh, in the sample. Okay, again. Uh, uh, Dr. Emily will give more details a discussion on how to derive uh, the equation. So let's try to compute Simpson index uh, with this hypothetical uh, community uh, with, uh, of three species here. So Simpson index is way uh, arithmetic mean of proportional abundance and measures the probability that two individuals are randomly selected from uh, a sample or will belong to the same species. So since the mean of the proportional abundance of the species increases with decreasing number of species and increasing abundance of the most abundant species, so the value of Simpson index obtains small values in data sets of high diversity and large values in data sets with low diversity. So the value of Simpson uh, D here, the Simpson index here, D here, can be from 0 to 1 with 0 representing infinite diversity and 1 representing no diversity. So the larger the value of index, let me remember, the, the larger the value of Simpson index, the lower the diversity. So uh, for this reason, Simpson index is usually expressed as its inverse. Uh, 1 over d okay or it's a uh, complement 1 um, minus d which is the uh, the simpson index so which is also known as the gini simpson index so the inverse is found to be 2.4336 so this is the inverse so 1 minus the 0 0.3947 that we get before this is the simpson index so this is the simpson's reciprocal uh, index which uh, what we call as the inverse. So the higher the value, so using the inverse, the value of the index start with 1 as the lowest possible figure compared to the Simpson index itself. Okay, So the higher the value, so the higher the value of this inverse index, the greater the diversity. So the maximum value is the number of species in the sample. For example, if there are 5 species in the sample, so then the maximum value is 5. So, uh, if you use the complement to Simpson's ID, which is here, Simpson index of diversity, eh? so the value will become 0 0.6053. So, the version of the index has values ranging from 0 to 1. Okay, But now, the greater the value, again, uh, compared to Simpson index, the greater the value, the greater the diversity of your sample. So, the complement represents the probability that two individuals randomly selected from a sample will belong to different species. So, it is very important. Okay, uh, so, yeah. so it's very important uh, to clearly state which version of Simpson diversity index you are using when comparing diversity. So, the name Simpson Diversity Index is often uh, very loosely applied. And all the three related indices described uh, previously, Simpson Index, Simpson Index of Diversity, which is the uh, complement, and then also Simpson Reciprocal Index, which is the inverse, have been quoted under this blanket term depending on researcher or author. It is therefore important to ascertain which index has actually been used in any comparative studies of diversity. So therefore, you need to know your objective of your study. So next is uh, the shinen weiner index. So this index was developed from information theory and is based on measuring uncertainty. So the degree of uncertainty of predicting 
uh, the species of a random uh, sample is related to the diversity of a community. So if a community has low diversity, so it's probably dominated by only one species, the uncertainty of prediction is low. So a randomly sampled species is most likely going to be the dominant species. However, if diversity is high, so the, of course the uncertainty is also high. So shine one index is computed using uh, this formula, okay, where pi is the proportion of individuals that belong to species i and r is the number of uh, uh, species in the sample. So since the sum of pi is equals unity by definition, the denominator equals the way geometric mean of the pi uh, I values being used as weight. Uh, the term in the parenthesis so equals uh, the true diversity D and H0, which is the ln D. Okay. When all species in data sets are equally common, so all pi values equals to 1 divided by r and the shannon Weinen index equals to ln r. So the more unequal the abundance of species, the larger uh, the weighted geometric mean of the pi, uh, pi values, the smaller the index. So if abundance is primarily concentrated into one species, the index will be close to 0. So in equivalent competition, uh, computational uh, easy formula is like this, what we call as a, uh, uh, like I said, as a ln n here, where n is the no total number of species and ni is the number of individuals in species i. So the shannon Warner index is more, uh, is more sensitive to the number uh, of species in a sample, so it's usually considered to be biased toward uh, measuring species richness. So again, uh, there is no need to worry about uh, the details of this uh, because uh, this one will be covered by Dr. Amy. Having said that, so let's compute the shannon uh, Weiner in the diversity index for the same hypothetical community in the previous example. So we know that n uh, is equal 65. Uh, so now let's compute the index. So we get all the information, just, just put in all the information there, then we can get the, uh, the Shannon Wanda index as 0 0.993. So Shannon, what, how, what to use? Shannon Wanda or Simpson? Which one you should use? So therefore, selection uh, of index greatly depends on your objective and there is a lot of argumentative literature regarding the topic mostly richness is determined by maglev's index so something that i'm, I'm not talking uh, have to, uh, covered but diversity by uh, shine that the, the, uh, when you talk about richness you use the maglev index you talk, you want to talk about Diversity, you use the Shannon uh, uh, in, uh, index, and if you want to look at the dominance of certain species, you use the Simpson index. That's the rule of thumb. Okay. Uh, however, Shannon uh, Weiner index is universally accepted uh, for uh, index of diversity as it accounts for entropy and in uh, in an ecosystem or in representative samples. So if you want to go for diversity, go for Shannon Wine Index. This is based on many literature that I read, then many opinion, uh, opinion from the uh, uh, biodiversity. Uh, when you calculate Shannon Wine Index, you will, not, uh, you will notice that it accounts for both species richness and its evenness or equitability. So therefore, uh, in order to estimate diversity, Shannon Weiner index is used. So Simpson index, uh, on the other hand, is used to estimate again the dominance of the species, as it does not account for species richness. If you if you plot, okay, if you plot a curve between Shannon Weiner index and Simpson Simpson index, you will get a negative regression line indicating that uh, with increasing diversity dominance decreases, which is log 
which is highly logical. So you can use the two indices, uh, these indices uh, basically for forest, for shrubland, for grassland, for agriculture, even agriculture land. Okay, depend depend on your study. So therefore, uh, again, you need to understand the objective of your study to properly choose the index you want to choose. Okay. Uh, however, most of the time, uh, many public publications, uh, the, the one that I read, many publications use both indices together in one paper. So, which means that uh, when when you do, when you do the research, they analyze with uh, using both indices, either the uh, and uh, and Simpson and plus other uh, in the indices also. So and they always compare uh, the, the data since the parameters used, okay, the density, you, they use the same similar sample unit. So, so the parameters are the same, so they just uh, use both indices and just put both together.